Oh man, if that thing ain't a cue to cut in, then I don't know what is. Uh, hi everyone, Argon Matrix here. Welcome to episode 50. Wow, that's crazy. Of uh, Let's Play The Wind Waker. And we're sailing right into this here cyclone at Northern Triangle Island. And we're just gonna get right into the fray here, I guess. Uh, you can pretty much do this anytime after the Tower of the Gods. I opted to do it after the Forsaken Fortress because I just wanted to maintain the consistency of the story as best I could. But we're just chastising this guy for, for Zephos like we promised. Uh, you kind of want to aim to the right a little bit like I'm doing. Not too much. But if you aim directly at him, it's just, you're just never going to hit him because the winds will completely screw you over. Mm -hmm. And you can find this guy, by the way, at uh, at three different islands. Nor Northern Triangle Island here, uh, Mother and Child Isles, and Shark Island. Not sure why those three specifically, but... Only one of them seems to make sense. Uh, yep. That's the name of the game, man. Let's see if I can handle this. Can I handle the most intense experience of my life? Seriously, this is actually one of the most, like, awesome things in pretty much any of the Zelda games. I'd wager in any game. My god. Gotta love this thing. You learned the Ballad of Gales. Hell yeah. So basically with this, uh, he lets you use his cyclones, and you can pretty much warp to within one square of any island in the game, which is really fantastic. If you need to move like the wind over the ocean deeps, just call on my cyclones. Can do, buddy. By the way, if you did not get a picture of this guy for the Nintendo Gallery before this point, then you're kind of SOL. You either need to like reset or just say balls to it, because um, you need his picture before then in order to get his figurine as well as Zephos's figurine. Actually, I think they're part of the same figurine. Just a brotherly love figurine. And I'm gonna warp right to here. Warp to this area? <laughs> love how just non-specific that is because we haven't actually got the map fish for that area yet. That is indeed Mother and Child Isles, though. One of the three areas you can get the cyclone to appear. We're actually past that cyclone on the way to the Forsaken Fortress a few videos ago. I remember. But my god. Look at how beautiful this place is. I, like, this is probably one of my favorite areas in the game is inside this island. And it's a shame you only get to see it, like, this one time. It's seriously, like, one of the most beautiful things I've seen in a video game. I'm probably just going to be gushing and fawning over it all for a little while here. But not for too long, because we got a fairy queen to see. That's right! Oh my gosh, she's so cute! Normally I'm not really, like, I don't find things that don't have pupils that adorable, but somehow it works for her. Can you control the wind? <laughs> yup. Just a little bit. You know, only cyclones and directions and stuff. How'd you know to find me here? Oh, I guess just a hunch. I am the queen of the fairy world. What is the matter, my child? Does that not surprise you, young one? No, I've seen plenty stranger fairies than you in my time. Believe you me. I like you. And so I shall give a new power to the bow that you wield. <laughs> How about that? Getting all kinds of crazy stuff up with a bow now. And this is a one of them. I think that in this game, these... Okay, we're getting the fire and ice arrows here. I'm, I'm sorry to spoil that for anyone who wasn't aware, but we're going to get it in like a second here anyways. And I'd wager that in this game, they're probably the most useful out of any game that they've ever been in. <laughs> a little painful to acquire, I guess. I don't know how... He's making, like, grunty sounds, but, like, aren't fairies supposed to be awesome and heal you? There we go. Man. Getting both at the same freaking time. Gotta love it. Are you a pendulum all of a sudden? That's weird. Uh, ice arrows can freeze the hottest flames, and fire arrows can melt the coldest ice. Yep. The fairies in this fountain shall ease your wariness. Well, funnily enough, this is actually probably the most readily available fairy fountain in the game, so... Child, I must tell you, you are just my type, tee hee. Doll shucks. <laughs> I totally love that shot right there with the boat looking back at him, it's just like... All the implications of that is just hilarious. I don't even need to explain it. Mm. Oh, let's see about this place, though. You know, it kind of surprised me the first time I found out that this water is actually really shallow like this and you can walk in it. But, like, this whole place just might be in part due to, like, what time of day it is, but just the rose tint and 
all this stuff and God. <laughs> like if you like if you don't take a look around for a little bit, you'll never even know that these ledges are here that you can like climb and walk on and all this stuff. Have fun jumping around. Like I would seriously build a house out here. Okay, well I guess I've spent enough time here for my own personal satisfaction. I might, might not even show any of that crazy exploring I just did. I just like walked around. Crap. Just walked around here for like a little while. Maybe like five minutes or so. I don't know, just something about the area is magical and enchanting to me. I guess that's the way they intended it to be. In any case, I'm going to head out to Windfall Island right now because there is quite a bit of crap we have to do there. Now that we're done with the Forsaken Fortress and the Tower of the Gods and all that, there's actually a lot, like, a whole freaking lot of side quests and everything else that get unlocked to us. There's, in fact, so much that I've actually opted to make a to-do list for this recording session. And uh, on it, I wrote down just, like, some things that I would like to do. Not necessarily, like, things in any sequential, specific order. But, uh, just some things that I thought would be fun to do. Just that I'm in the mood for today, I guess. I don't know what he was talking about. I wasn't really paying attention. But, we do have mail here. From the Bucktooth Post box. Gotta love him. Mm, here is your letter. This parcel has been sent cash on delivery. Postage due is 201 rupees. What? <laughs> really? You're gonna make me pay that? Oh my gosh. Who's the asshole that sent this one? Make me pay that to the esteem, Mr. F uh, yeah. God know who that is. This is probably worth at least 201 rupees because this shows you where all the Triforce charts are, which, as you can imagine, would be pretty, pretty helpful. In fact, let's take a look at it right now. Let's just see what we're going to be up against in a little bit here. Well, first we gotta get our next letter. That's right. I think I know what this one is. Right? Yeah, this is from Errol. She's on the pirate ship. Hmm. That is kind of sad. I like how she's naming the pirates here, like where, like where you're supposed to even know any of those names. That's ridiculous. They never really specify it throughout the game. You can only really find that out through from the Nintendo Gallery, actually. Hmm. Actually paid me a little. Oh, wow! She's actually sending me the money? <laughs> you don't have to do that, little sis. Just spend it on whatever you want. Spend it on gumballs for all I care. But, uh, oh well. Hmm. God, everyone loves Link, I guess. Okay, what was I going to do next? I was going to look at the incredible chart, that's right. The incredible chart. Buy yours now for only nineteen ninety-five. dollars Alright, yeah, we can see we have one crossed off there already. But they are... Well, there's a lot of them in that, like, row that down there. That, like, third row from the bottom. There's a lot. Holy crap, I didn't even know, realize. If, if you look real close, you can actually see Tingle's face. Like, completely smeared across the background there. And in the corner, the bottom right corner. God, I can't... Jeez, can't we leave well enough alone, I guess. Mm. Oh, hey! It's this girl. I think I recognize you. You were in the Forsaken Fortress, that's right. But she doesn't seem to care about me right now, so... Was what? Hmm. Um... She's acting rather mysterious, I must say. Oh, hide. Shh don't want her to see you. I actually don't think it matters if you like hide behind any objects while following her like this. I think all that really matters is that you're a certain distance away from her. Like you can be in plain sight like this and she'll look back and like she just won't see you because you're so far away. Or something. Which kind of breaks the realism but I digress. You can just pretend to like hide like in a bush like this. Mm-hmm. Ain't no one gonna see me here. I'm completely camouflaged. Yeah, I can't even tell where I am. Oh, there I am. I was just kidding. Okay. Don't follow her too fast now. As I, when I was a kid, I could never do this because I would always like go up here too fast and she would spot, spot me in the doorway because she actually stops right there. It's kind of tricky to notice. Oh, who's that? Who oh, dude? <laughs> Personally, I would have done the hoot hoot link. Made myself an owl instead of a stupid cat. What the hell are you thinking? There's not even any cats in this game in the first place. Alright, I think she stops one more time. Yeah. Not a huge deal. What? <laughs> Apparently, I was too close. 
But she falls with the same trick twice, at least, so... Let's just get a move on, little doggy. Little kitty. Just don't get, don't get too close to her yet. She's, I don't think she stops anymore, but you can still get too close and, like, trigger her escape mechanism, I guess. But we caught ya. Red-handed. Try to steal from that safe. You got rupees on the brain? What do you want? My heart was racing. You scared me. What? Are you the kind of creep who goes around at night scaring people? That's just plain mean. I agree. But that's not that's not my style. I'm an ally of justice, baby. An ally of justice? I I'm not a thief, I swear. I haven't stolen anything. Well, yet. <laughs> Please let me go. I was just It was just an impulse. That's all. Just a bad idea. Yeah, I don't know. Thievery is not just a bad idea. You can pass off like, like oh, it was a bad idea to cook that chicken for too long, and then I burnt it. Quiet, you. No, I'm not gonna be that mean. I was once the richest little debutante in this town. Did you know that? But one day a monstrous bird came and took me away to a terrible place called the Forsaken Fortress. How could that stupid bird even fit in this town? Like reach his claws that far in? She must. He must. She must have been like playing out on the field or something. I guess. Still, I'd love to see a scene of that, actually, of the bird swooping down on Windfall. I mean, it would be sad, but still. Every day from morning till night, I'm busy working the open air shop. So as you can see, I'm at least trying to sell into my poor lifestyle. A for effort and all that. Doesn't that just tug at your heartstrings? What do you say about the tragic events of my pitiable life? It's terrible. And to make matters worse, for some reason, I still can't figure out that slob Maggie, who was the poorest girl in town, suddenly got filthy rich. Maggie, of all people. It makes me so mad that I just want to kick something or do something terrible. Grr. Do you understand my plight? Uh, yeah, very well. I'm pretty smarticle. Then you let me go? I don't think so. But why not? Because I'm honest. Duh. And I want my bottle. It's true. I know I'm quibbling over nothing, but being so poor weakens a person's very soul. But it's time I quit making silly excuses for myself. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I didn't have to sink down to the level of a common thief. I will never do anything like that again. Oh, what an amazing feeling. I've let all my worries out of my heart. I actually feel refreshed. It's like letting out a good fart. Let me let me at least thank you. Please take this. That's all I'm in this for, honey. Well, no, I don't want to say that. That's just because that's pretty much not true, even. I know some people are in it just for the bottle, but I like this little storyline. Mm. Oh, I wasn't even thinking that. I mean, where would you steal a bottle from? There's only, like, four in the entire world, so... Unless he stole one from me and gave it back to me. Jeez. Oh, what am I saying? When you live in poverty, you can say the cheesiest, cheesiest things without blinking an eye. Humph. <laughs> oh, I guess I should go soon. My father will start worrying. I don't know, he was probably already worried with you just standing on the street corner like that. Like a prostitute or something. But, uh, let's not go there. <laughs> My gosh. Rule 34, no thanks. I'll pass on that one. 